Thomas Pocklington Trust logo. Performing CRM tasks using JAWS. Hashtag blind enable. Hi, my name is Robert Cummings and I'm the technology intern at Thomas Pocklington Trust. Assistive technology has come a long way over the last few years, enabling blind and partially sighted people to perform roles in the workplace just as well as their fully sighted colleagues. Today I'd like to show you how I use screen reading software, JAWS, to perform common tasks with Salesforce, a popular system used to help organizations manage relationships with their customers. Salesforce itself is very large. There's a lot of different components to it. Today I'm going to focus on the contacts area, which is where you store information about uh, individuals, generally those working for your organization or for other organizations that uh, you communicate with. So I'm going to use a couple of examples just to demonstrate how I would go about accessing this particular area of the system. A few days ago, I added a contact in with Cheryl and Sefton from a company called Tech Team. I had a phone call with her and I'm going to now find her contact and log information about that call. So where I am at the moment, I'm on the homepage and I'm going to press my down arrow to navigate through a list of links until I find the contact link. Visited link home. Link opportunities. Opportunity. Link labs. Let's menu. Link task. Tasks. Link files. File. Link accounts. Accounts. Visited link. And now I'll press enter on the contact link. Recently viewed contact. So this is the recently viewed contact screen. This is where it opens by default. Since I added Sherilyn recently, I know she'll be in this list. The screen mainly consists of a table and you can use standard screen reader navigation commands to jump to and navigate through the table. So I'm going to jump to the table. Nine columns and four rows. Column one, row one, item number. I am going to go down a row. One, row two. And then I will use my control right arrow to move along to the name. Select name, link Sherilyn Sefton, column three. And there we go, that's the first one in the list. Sherilyn Sefton, Salesforce, Google Chrome. Now I'm on the main contact screen for Sherilyn, and what I'm looking for is the activity publisher heading. There's a lot of information on this screen because Salesforce, as I said, is a fairly large and complex system, but I'm looking for the activity publisher area. So I'm going to use my standard heading navigation quick key to jump through the page until I find it. Tabs heading level two. We found no potential duplicates of this contact heading level two. Opportunity zero heading level two link. Activity publisher heading level two. And now I found the activity publisher. I'm going to look for the option to log a call. New task tab selected. Log a call tab. And there it is. So I will now press enter on that. Activity tab panel. Tab. Log a call tab selected. I will tab until I find where I can enter the information about the call. More button menu. Tab panel. List with four items. Subject edit combo. Call. So the subject obviously is a call. Comments edit. This is where you write in the record of the call. So I'm going to type had a call on Monday. Comma. It was very productive and I will be following up with her next week list with one items. Sherilyn Sefton press delete to remove link. That's to confirm that it is definitely linked to Sherilyn Sefton. And now I'm going to tab to the save button. Related to current, skip, save button. Sherilyn Sefton alert, success, task, call was saved. And there we go, the, the call has been saved. Okay, so I'm on the home page and I want to see if I have any tasks due for today. Now the homepage is split up into headings for various information that you can see at a glance. So I know that the heading I'm looking for is today's tasks. So I'm gonna use my heading quick navigation key to jump through the page until I find the today's tasks heading. Today's tasks heading level two. Now I'm gonna see if I actually have any tasks due for today. Select a view of your tasks button. List of one items. Create a new contact checkbox not checked. And I see that there is a task. Link today. It's due for today. Link create a new contact. And they want me to create a new contact. So I'm going to open this task. Add favorite. This page shows information about the task. Now I'm going to do something very interesting. Uh, and that is I'm going to jump straight to the bottom of the page because I know that the last bit of information on this page is the comment. And that is what I'm mainly interested in because I need to see 
what information I need to put into the contact. So I'm going to jump to article end. Jump to the end, and then I'm going to go back up the page. List end. Create a new contact for Mark Spencer, who works at Best Company Ever and specializes in global sales. So that is my task. I need to create a new contact for Mark Spencer. Instead of opening up the whole contact screen next to each of the options in the navigation list, there's actually a little drop-down menu that has common actions that you can perform, like quick actions. Uh, so I'm going to use that to find the new contact area rather than navigating through the screen because it's quicker for me. Visited link contacts. So that's for the main contact page. Contacts menu button menu collapsed menu. So I'm going to expand this menu. Global navigation navigation region menu new contact not checked one of five. Now I can press enter on new contact. Leaving menus contacts menu button menu new contact Salesforce phone edit. And the first field it lands me on is a field for a phone. Now I'm going to put in just a few details into this form. There's actually a lot of different information you can record here, but I'm going to enter a phone number, not a completely real phone number, but I will just put in 555555. Salesforce does require that you save uh, at least some information, name, phone, and email. List with 16 items, star name group, none button menu. This one is for the title. So I will open this menu. Menu, none checked, one of six. And Mr. Two of six. Add down to Mr. Mr. Mark Spencer. First name edit. Now add to the first name, Mark. Last name. And the last name of Spencer. And there's a lot of other information here, but I'm going to jump straight to the bottom of the screen where I can uh, save the contact. Save button. And now I will save the contact by pressing the save button. Alert. Success. Contact. Mark Spencer was created. And there we go. Success. And that's how I use Salesforce. Thank you for watching. Please share this video with employers and other blind and partially sighted people. Find out more on accessible technology at vitaltech.org.uk and see how our employment service can help you progress your career at parklington-trust.org.uk forward slash employment.